Hey Babbins community, it's Henry and Jeff bringing you a review on the Leaning Aeronaut 8000. Why? Because we ran out of readily available Yonex rackets. Let's do it. Okay, so in all of our racket reviews, as you probably already know, we rate rackets based on five main categories with a score out of 10. These are feeling and handling, control, power, speed, and aesthetics. Now the Aeronaut 8000 is built on the Aeronaut technology platform that has a unique Airstream channel integrated into the racket head. Now what this means is that it has these slits in its racket head that reduce air resistance which helps to generate faster shuttlecock speeds. It's marketed as a racket suitable for those looking for the best control with little to no sacrifice in power and falls within the boost category for leaning and is sometimes found online as the Aeronaut 8000 Boost. It features a mildly head heavy balance point at 298 millimeters and a medium flex shaft. And we tested this with Yonex uh, BG80 string strung at 29 pounds. Hmm. So what do we think about it? This is another nice feeling racket that guides relatively swiftly through the air despite being an overall heavier racket. It definitely doesn't feel light, but it's actually quite easy to handle and is very responsive. It also has a really good solid feeling when contacting the shuttle, although there's a consistent light reverberation on contact. So, we found placement with this racket relatively easy to guide and it was very forgiving, which was helped by its relatively large sweet spot and flexible shaft. We were able to hit it consistently and accurately with little difficulty. Now, it is a head heavy racket with a mild head heavy balance. So you'd probably guess that it'd be ideal to do some damage on court. And by damage, I mean unleash some heavy smashes. Now, is it fast? Well, not really, but for its weight, it's not slow. And that's for sure. And the power you can generate with it on drive does make up for the slightly slower speed compared to lighter rackets. And overall, it's a pretty good looking racket, we think. It's maybe our bias, but we do like kind of like the red, black and gold colors of it. I mean, how can you go wrong? So for feeling and handling, we gave it an eight out of 10. And for control, we also gave it eight out of 10. An eight and a half out of 10 for power. A seven out of 10 for speed. And for how it looks, an 8 out of 10. So that gives us a total of 39 and a half out of 50. So, who's it for? Well, this is an interesting one. It's certainly designed for offensive players, that's for sure. Rear court doubles players for attacking play and offensive and, and even all-round singles players too. We would go as far as saying that those who prefer a heavier head, although aren't that advanced, could consider this racket too, if they're one of those types of players. It's probably not for front court doubles players or those with the preference for fast exchanges as it's a little heavy, it's on the heavier side. Now, although we'd say less advanced players could consider this racket too, it's heavier weight could be a risk factor for those less technically skilled, even though it's reasonably forgiving. If you're someone who needs a racket that can do most things relatively easily, doesn't need to be too fast and is geared more towards an attacking style of play, then this is definitely a racket that you can consider. At around the 240 Australian dollar mark, would we try, buy, or deny? We think try for this one. There are lower price similar options out there, so that's why we're thinking try. Yeah, and if a heavy head balance isn't your thing, then you should check out the Volant Rogue S1, which is our sleek matte black even balanced racket. You can check it up here. So there you have it, the Leaning Aeronaut 8000 racket. Thanks for tuning into this video. Now, if you've enjoyed it or found it useful, then be kind to that like button before you go for the YouTube algorithm and share it with your badminton community. And to see all of the latest racket reviews that we release, make sure you do subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications and get ready some awesome information. See you guys. Yeah. And it does. <laughs> <laughs> Is it too much for you?